Oh, hey, what's going on? Today is March 2nd, 2011, and it's my brother's, brother's birthday. So if you want to wish him a happy birthday, leave a comment below telling him happy birthday. Um, so yeah, yesterday was interesting. It was the launch of the Minecraft Survival Guide, and um, I did a video yesterday with Lachlan from Minecraft Workbench, um, basically promoting the product. And, of course, with anything that you release on the internet... It's always going to get some type of a, some type of slack. So there's going to be one third of you that like the product, one th one third of you that hate the product, and one third of you that just don't really care about it. Um, a lot of people's perception behind it is that why am I going to pay for something that's that's for free on the internet? Now, what's considered free is a little bit altered because of how you just come to terms with everything you come across on the internet. So if you go to websites where if you either enter in your email address or view ads, that cost money. So essentially, whatever you do on the internet is not considered free. Same way that services like Google does or Facebook has, you're divulging a lot more information, um, tracking habits, putting up relevant ads so that you click on them. So if you really want to say that overall, you're pretty much paying for anything in some shape or form. Now, Farmville Secrets is another guide, kind of just like this, but this is just for the specific game. Farmville, Farmville Secrets was for, was for Farmville, and it was created by T-Dub. And basically, he sold a guide around the same price as the Minecraft Survival Guide, and yet Farmville Secrets is a f free game. So... Really, it's if you're going to judge as far as what price is versus the value that you're getting, you're getting a lot more for the dollar value than you're actually receiving because you're getting the you're getting the guides, not just one; it's multiple. You're getting free updates sent directly to you, so you don't have to do any searching. I do is look in your emails, and when you see an email from us, it'll say, "Hey." By the way, this is new, and here's a download for the new revision of the guide. So that's no cost. There's only one time fee, and that's it. All the other updates are free. So any information that we divulge to you, or there has to be, happens to be a server in the future, or cool links, cool videos to check out, that information will give out to you for nothing. So you know that's that's on our part to do, it's because we want to make it. We want to make the Minecraft community even better, or best as possible. Now for the people who see really no idea why they should do that, and go, oh, I can go to different websites and get it for free, then be all means, go go search your heart out for anything that you want. That's It's completely up to you. You don't have to buy anything. I mean, same way too, there's guides out there for, for StarCraft and WarCraft and all that stuff, and they're even way more expensive than this guide is. So, it's just, it comes with the territory. So especially if you're part of the affiliate program and want to promote the product, expect to hear some type of some type of response as far as like, oh, why should I pay for this, blah, blah, blah. Well, the, the type of people that you essentially don't want purchasing your product because for one, they don't get it. Two, they don't see the value, the value behind it since everything else is free. So, and that's really, that's really the main point behind that is really... To not get frustrated behind the one third of people that's gonna basically bash any bash it any way that they can. This guide is the first of its kind, and it's the first one to hit the market. So I guarantee now, once this goes out full swing, there's gonna be knockoffs. I guarantee it. But this one's the first one. And that was the most important. And then anybody can sign up for the affiliate program. I'll put the link in the description below if you if you want to support it. It's really to, to develop the best community out there for Minecraft. Um, and to give out all the information up until the actual full version release of it. Um, Mojang does know about it. I'm not sure if you guys know that, but I did talk to them. And they are aware of it. Um, they, they have a lot on their plate late right now with developing the guy developing the game and releasing all their updates and things like that so it's a work in progress that's why they built their team the way it's the way that it is now they might want to partner up with myself and uncle godfather 
for the full version release of the, of the actual guide. So that can come later down the line too, which then again, it's it comes with a price. It's not it's something for free. And if it was technically free, <coughs> then there's going to be something else behind it like ads or something else. There's going to be something behind it where you either give your email address or you got to view something or you got to do something. So if it looks free, it most likely isn't. There's some, because they said time is money also. So and that's the same thing for anything in life. This guide is to save time. Instead of going to all these different websites that have all these different advertisements, you just, it's the flat out guide with everything that you need and you can click around on all that you want. You get the updates, you get everything. We'll give out cool information. So it's a lot of information that we're giving out. We put a lot of hard work into um, I think it's really the main part of that. And it's the same thing for any, if any of you are releasing any type of a product or something like that, that's going to be, that you're going to get some slack from, don't let that overcome what you want to do. Because it's easy to get frustrated from people saying like hurtful comments or being like, oh, this is ridiculous and why are you doing this? You're deceiving us, blah, blah, blah. It's like, really, we're not. We're organizing, compiling, formatting, making information easily available for people to save time to have fun specifically for Minecraft. That's the whole goal behind this, is to make it more fun. To build whatever you want to build, to survive, to have everything in one spot without having to roam around to all these different websites. So, any information I said is directly given to you, so that's a bonus, I would say. I'd I would pay for that. I mean, we worked on the guide, we did the whole guide, and I'm going to be, I use that as my reference. I don't need to go anywhere else. If my internet's not working, I have the guide. <laughs> I mean, you can play single player offline, and then you got the guide, so it's easy as that. I said also, it's to just develop the, the best community possible. That's really the goal behind this. Um, I say, when the backing of the endorsers, Paul Soares Jr. and Lucklin, they are amazing people. They I can't speak highly enough for them. They're, I'm more than happy to know them as, as friends, and it's going to be an awesome friendship from now on. Like They're going to be lifetime lifetime friends. I mean, they're just awesome people. Um, and getting to know more people along the way, and it's just, it's been an absolute, I said, it's been an absolute roller coaster, and it's been amazing to know everyone, to meet everyone, to talk to people I, I might have not even talked to before, maybe once or twice on Twitter or Facebook, but the interaction is absolutely amazing. And I think YouTube, I think Minecraft, especially for Notch and the team for Notch creating this awesome game, um, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. And I think that's it for now. I could ramble on for the next like 20 minutes probably about this, but we'll continue throughout the day, okay? So... If you're working on a project and you're getting frustrated for selling wise or people getting slack, don't worry about it. It happens. Alright? What's up? Gotta hunt around for a birthday gift. Nothing like at the last minute. But plus my car is not operable right now and I have my girlfriend's car so I now have the tiny bit of luxury to drive around. Other than that, I'm just stuck at home. Fun stuff. I'm trying to think of something, something creative to get him. I'm thinking maybe a... Uh, canvas piece because I know he's doing art stuff which I'll show you some of his artwork uh, soon but he's a really talented uh, graphic designer slash artist right love being a quick shopper got my brother's birthday gifts hopefully he likes them didn't have a terrible lot of money to spend but I hope he does like them <laughs> actually there's like uh, USB sticks um, just some extra spare memory, portable memory, and um, some some JD, so. If you know what Jack Daniels is, then yeah, good stuff. Don't recommend drinking, but if you need a break from life every once in a while, then it's a pretty good drink. <laughs> Actually, I woke up this morning not, not feeling too well. I'm very, uh, I feel like there's pressure behind uh, my nose, and oh, geez, there. This is Overbrook Hospital. 
they're destroying, they're starting to take down the buildings. Talk about the Essex County Hospital area, and uh, they're turning into some park preserve, something like that. I don't know. I know that they're just they're starting to dismantle all the buildings there, and it's been a long project. But yeah, I'm get off topic because it's just driving to the area. Um, yeah, my head's all like funky right now, so I'm figuring the next couple days are going to be kind of uh, painful, or just like. So. I really wanted to do this with my old job, do a, a daily vlog of driving because the old company that I worked for, I had a commute to Long Island and it was a two and a half hour commute on average, um, like every day driving wise. So it would have been, it would have been really cool to have, to do, to do a daily vlog from driving wise because then I'd have a ton of content and stuff, random stuff to talk about and you know, make, chop it up, make it look kind of interesting. But yeah, for my old job I did, I did IT work, um, fixing computers, networks, things like that. So, um, but that's basically where I get all my computer, computer knowledge from. But yeah, my other, my car is not operational right now. I get it fixed, so it's just sitting in the driveway. Whew. I'm on my way to the parents' house right now because we're gonna go there, meet there, convene there. Every other possible word to go there. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna, gonna go out to dinner for my brother's birthday. So, happy birthday to him. I would say one of the biggest things in life that anybody should know is to be like the word of advice for today. If the, any, anything that anybody should know is patience because it can be used anywhere. It doesn't matter what situation for anything in life is patience. And specifically because I'm driving, that's just the case in point because if you need, if you're driving fast around, you know, to get anywhere, it doesn't really, doesn't really save you any time, especially if there's traffic. So definitely learn patience. Yum. Yeah. Yeah.